It is August 15th, 2025, and the update on Tropical Storm Erin is that it's on the verge of becoming a hurricane. It has currently winds of 70 miles per hour. It is currently located at 17.8 degrees north and 54.5 degrees west. This is around 300 miles east of the island of Anguilla in the Lesser Antilles in the Caribbean. And it's moving at 17 miles per hour west northwest slowly moving north and changes latitude with a central eye pressure of 997 millibars which is still on the higher side it's going to drop and the ocean surface temperature is around 28.4 degrees celsius as it gets closer to the caribbean and it skirts north of the islands of puerto rico and the dr and the virgin islands the water will increase in temperature and therefore the storm will kind of explode and strengthen and exponentially increase in power and wind speed and become a hurricane and very quickly become a major hurricane which is a category three or above in a very short time. Now everyone's talking about the track of Erin where it's going to make landfall, where it's going to move throughout the Atlantic and all these models produce this spaghetti plot and this very large cone of uncertainty because of these different models that are being used. Most of the models have Erin curve to the right, move north and into the Atlantic Ocean and kind of skirt and move parallel to the eastern seaboard producing high surf and strong rip currents across the east coast, which is great for surfers. Now, one model had Erin going across the Bahamas and onto Florida or even the Straits of Florida and through like central Florida. That is a possibility. However, no model is showing that now. Most of the models are showing a curve to the north with a possible landfall over Hatteras and the North Carolina Outer Banks. Now, this could happen but there is a high pressure over the East Coast over the next few days, which could save the US from a direct landfall and direct contact from Erin. And this could just be a very large and powerful storm that moves up into the North Atlantic and curves around and follows the Gulf Stream.